Hi everybody. Here's one of the most frequently asked questions is how can I improve my English fast or how can I improve it quickly? That's a question I get all the time and there is an answer. However, it is subjective. Let me explain. Improving your English is based primarily on your learning technique. How do you learn best? That's really important. So first, are you a book learner? Do you learn faster by reading books? Or are you more of a vocational learner, like interactive, um, dialogue, um, working with someone else in a group? So those are two main ways of learning is through books, through memorization, through studying the framework of the language or the rules of the language. And then the other is more of application and usage. So if you know which way you learn best, that's huge. After that, you need to start hitting all of the facets, all of the different sides of learning. At first, you're going to want to do the things that you enjoy the most, and you will avoid the things that you don't enjoy. Three, so after two, you have a foundation of English, meaning that you've dedicated time doing the things you enjoy, then you have to challenge the other areas that you don't enjoy so much, but there may be a way to make it more enjoyable. Let me go over the basic categories or facets of learning any language, but in this case, English. Number one, reading. Reading books, magazines, articles in English, anything can help you to improve your vocabulary and comprehension skills. Just exposing yourself to reading. The second thing is writing. Goes right along with it, right? Reading and writing. Practicing writing in English can help you improve your grammar and sentence structure. You can start to see consistency in punctuation and other things, even if you're copying other texts. You'll notice as you copy texts where the punctuations are, and you'll start to get a feel for where they should be. So you can write your own stories, or you can copy things and paying attention to the details, where the commas go, where the periods and colons and semicolons, and you'll start to get a feel for where they go. The third way, of course, is speaking. Now, any chance you get to speak with a native or a non-native that's practicing like you is gonna be very helpful. It will improve your pronunciation, but also your fluency. Fluency being defined as thought to speech. It has very little to do with how much accent you have, believe it or not. Fluency is just being able to think in the language that is your target and speak right away without translating. The next one would be listening to English podcasts, music, movies, uh, to help with your comprehension and to tune your ear into hearing familiar words. Listening is very important, but it has to be active listening, not passive. What I mean is write down some key words or make note of where in the video the different things are so you can look at them later. Vocabulary building is going to increase your ability to describe things. That's also very important. Grammar practice or knowing the rules of the language uh, play an important role in structure. You can do that first or last depending on your learning style. And then of course, translation. Translating your words into English can be very helpful and comprehending how to reproduce what you're trying to say in the other language. Remember, set aside regular time to practice English, but find activities that are both enjoyable and challenging. This has been Talitha Vima English, bringing you through the final steps of fluency. Please subscribe, like, and share to show your support.